the fuck is this? That's Jeff's wand stiffener. Don't you have a bottle of it? Personally, I can't make it through a lovemaking session without at least five or six bottles of Jeff's wand stiffener. Over five million men a year struggle without stiff wands. That sounds like you should buy some of my sh Listen to the wizard. What can I say? Do you need a wand stiffener? In the south, Santa driver. <clears throat> Playing as, wait for it, wait for it, the Sicilians. Wait, that's not Santa driver, that's chopsticks. Pardon me. Playing as the Sicilians. And the Sicilians, they don't. The Sicilians, they don't just make delicious pizza, guys. Uh, they they also start with plus one hundred stone. Uh, castles and pound centers are built faster. Land military units, except for siege weapons, receive a thirty three percent less bonus damage. Farm upgrades provide extra food. The donjon replaces the watchtower, which is shit, actually that doesn't work great. Uh, they also get first cruise. This is a weird choice, basically. The Halberg is probably the most significant. The knights with the extra pierce armor, and maybe the transport ships with the extra line of sight. Maybe that could be a thing. An interesting choice from Chopsticks for sure. We got Blue Star playing as the Franks over here. Franks are mostly known for their cheaper castle bonus, where they can build super, super cheap castles. Let me get the Sicilians off there for you guys. There's another one that's activated. The Armenians are there too. Uh, yeah, they have faster working stables. They get throwing axemen as their unique unit from castles, which is a good anti infantry check, as people tend to make. Lots of pikemen against the Franks. Uh, and they also get free mill technology, faster gathering berries. Hey. This is actually a sick place to put a mill. There's <laughs> there's a shore fish. There's there's uh deer. Put a mill right there. That's like that's a great mill spot there for, for Blue Star, the Frank. And our final player is going to be the Korean. Over here in the west in green. Santa driver. Playing in the green. Has to be either red or green, I think, legally. The Koreans get war wagons most significantly, which is a super high pierce armor unique unit from their castles. That's really good at king sniping. Uh, they also get minimum range reduced on their mangonels, which kind of makes them a little bit stronger than you would expect, even though it's not the most obvious bonus. Uh, they also have cheaper archers and infantry. Wait, archers and infantry cost minus 50. How can infantry cost wood? I guess the pikemen. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Uh, the archer and armor and tower upgrades free. The archer armor for free is pretty nice. And they get faster working stone miners. So they're good at towering, but they're also really good at building lots of castles with war wagons. So wouldn't be surprised to see that at all. I have to address my friend's question who says... <clears throat> After canceling two Battlefield 2042 sessions in four days, would you rather be referred to as Bailrang or Grathblake? Please advise. Dearest Stiglitz 11, uh, I direct you to my director of the Human Resources Department here at Grath Studios. First, take a big step back and literally fuck your own face! Thank you. Also, I'm sorry. Uh, we, I could probably do one tonight. If it makes you feel any better, Stiglitz, I also slept through a show match. A $50 show match that a good streamer friend uh, scheduled like three weeks in advance. So I just, I've kind of just been, yeah, <laughs> sleep. It's great. Let me tell you how great it is getting sleep. I've just been sucking all over the place. I don't know what, I really don't know what to say. I've been so tired. Yeah. I slept through spring show match. Poor springy boy. Been sucking all over the place, eh? Yeah, basically, I've just been following your mom around. Got him. 
<laughs> Successfully roasted my friend in front of 70 people. Check. At least I showed up to lose my set with style. You played great, Emma. Right up until you died miserably. Chopsticks did not wall this side. Not a lot of aggression here so far. As I started grinding myself a bong bowl, then I didn't smoke it. <laughs> I want to smoke. Revives for me. Or I'm just gonna kill 20 people with a shotgun and then sprint in and die. <laughs> so I can get fresh ammo. Like normal. <laughs> Yellow us, because that's literally exactly what I do. <laughs> uh, out of ammo, run in, throw a grenade. Use my secondary till I die. They nerfed the shoddy, I heard. It's been too long. I really want to play Battlefield. Check in with uh, Afrozilla and see if we're gonna have a session tonight. I need, I need, I need downtime. Just like this guy needs downtime from the fridge. Bonga. <laughs> 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 Why is Santa so idle? You got the you got the feel first. That's why he's not idle. Just went up to feudal. Ooh, blue star skipped loom like a two K. He's ready to sell his. Pe what the. F What the hell? What the hell is that? <laughs> he TC dropped Santa Driver. Was not even I am I am so confused right now. He's up to feudal age. Chopsticks is up to feudal age behind this. He only has 38 seconds of idle TC time. His TC wasn't even dead for that long. That was some slick play from Chopsticks. There's the transport ship. At least this time it wasn't TC dropping Persians. I wonder if he can still kill Ch Blue Star after this. He's going to have you so vulnerable at home. <laughs> this is an insane strategy. Purple is not 2k. Oh, this bet we could this game we could definitely do bettings on. Quick, you got three minutes to get your bets in. Get your champ voice predictions in. Who you guys think is going to win? I already see some bunch of people betting on Blue Star. <laughs> the person who is not involved in this shenaniganary. And we're going to add a dungeon. Green is getting pressured hard. My money's on chopsticks, actually. Chopsticks, chopsticks probably won't TC drop again. Will he? Maybe he'll just spam sergeant to go Castle H? The king is right there. This is what Chopsticks can see. Oh my, wait, how does he have that much? There we go, that's better. This is what Chopsticks can see. Don't forget the extra line of sight that the, that the Sicilians get on their transport ship. Oh man. This might actually be like a 200 IQ strat. Oh, I wish we'd gotten to see more Chopsticks in the main tournament. This is kind of a sick play here from Chop. Yellow is not pressuring blue at all. Yellow is just booming up. We gotta die. Oh, he's gonna go try it. Oh my god. 
Green is just gonna die to yellow happenstancely deciding to kill him. Green slapping down walls completely. Well, does he see this coming? He doesn't. He's not even gonna see the transport. Yellow's gonna come in at the perfect time, right as Coco subscribes with the four months. 200 IQ, but the point is in the wrong place. <laughs> uh, the scouts just got transported in on the garrison. Garrison. And then run in and get the king. Where are the sergeants? There they are. Just run in. Oh, man. Santa having a quick wall out. Two opponents here. This is insane here for Santa, who's completely hemmed in now. Purple knows exactly where the king is. He flared it. Yellow cannot get in. We are walled out from the water. <laughs> Stone walls and everything. Santa is three vills back of yellow. Uh, and 11 vills back of pink. <laughs> DC drop, don't forget. <laughs> yellow seen the DC drop. Probably laughing their asses off. Yeah, I agree. Thank you very much for the sub, Coco. Much appreciated. All right, guys. Chopsticks is putting on a show here. <laughs> you should go. You should go and drop a uh, dungeon in Yellow's base. Like, doesn't even need to be in range. Somewhere like here. Because, guys, the thing is with the Sicilians, the dungeons make the sergeants. The sergeants can build dungeons. So you only need one in there to start like a snowball. You make one sergeant build the second thing. Builds two more. Purple top score. Purple is like taking green right out of the game here. Yellow knows that Pink's King is on an island with no town center. He hasn't figured that out yet. He's still focused on green. It's possible that we got through this. Does green, does green not know that? Or yellow not know that? Pardon me. I mean, we don't know that we didn't break through. 100%. I don't know when he scouted that exactly. Is that open? Ooh. One of these things is not like the other. One of these things just doesn't belong. You gotta outpost the tower at a castle. And a, and a dungeon. And a very, very, very sad Santa driver. <laughs> Why the 2v1? Uh, you're 500 elo on both of them. Yellow, I think, is just flailing wildly. Yellow should be attacking pink. 100%. Look at the score. It's not 2v1. No, it definitely is. As it's, if they might not be coordinating, but it's effectively a 2v1. Green is up to castle age, though. Do we have enough stone for anything? No. We have a thousand wood. What do you do with a thousand wood? Do we have a market? No. We have no space for anything. I can't even believe we got into castle age, to be honest. Sell. We can't sell or buy. We have nothing. Castle Age into a giant pile of goo. Someone took the outside odds on Santa Driver. Chopsticks is looking like the one to me. He's gonna get the market down. Let's go, Santa. I'm rooting for Santa automatically now. That's just a matter of time. Chopsticks, at least put them on gold. Jesus! Why do these guys hate Santa so much? Selling food, selling wood, getting gold. What are we going to do with all this gold? What are we going to do with all that gold? All that gold inside that hold. I'm going to go, I'm going to make, make, make some stone. Something, something. Nobody stop me. Think battered the market down with bills. 
This one's fine though. It's in the walls. It's a humble base, but it exists. We not, might not be making any villagers. But Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Yellow towered pig. Pig is Don Johnning the wood line on this side. Green is running out of places to take wood safely. There's going to be another castle drop on this section of wood. That might be GG for Santa, guys. He does have enough stone for his own castle. And where will he put it down? I think it should be here. I think it should be here because it'll give him access to water. He's going to put it there. That'll give him his gold back. That's not horrible. Why? He deleted his market and his blacksmith! Ah! Green is dead. Never say never, Emma Stonewalls. The castle will go up, and that's going to push Chopsticks back. He's going to lose all these dungeons. Access to that gold. And possibly some bills if he doesn't get out of there soon. Do not... Well, you can put it there, though. And deny the gold. Put it there and deny the gold. Yeah. Put it there and deny the gold. There you go. That's a 10 out of 10 castle. This is what yellow can see. That's what... Green can see. Green knows that's happening. You can also see that. What's yellow got? Yellow doesn't know much about pink. Pink is finally building a TC back for their king. No, still no TC on the king. Just on the wood line on the side of the king. Do wagons add damage to castles? Compared to vills? I believe so. I think it's like a manga. It's like if you put a, a, a thing that does shooting arrow damage. It does more than the vills, I think. Watch up, two chippy chopsticks. This is strange. This is walled off. You can't delete it. All right. Anybody contesting water? No. We got one person with two fishing ships, another person with two fish. That's still chopsticks with four sh fishing ships at two different docks. Nothing from yellow, nothing from green. Green is fighting to live. <laughs> God damn, I love the bongos. Yeah, I've never really gotten rid of them. I keep telling myself I use them too much. But then half the time I laugh at them, so <laughs> they're not going anywhere. Doing that thing where I sit on my leg. Where it feels like really, really good, but also is probably bad for me. It feels oddly good for my hip and back. Green could dock and live a free, happy life. I mean, like that? If we could get to the outside, we'd be a lot happier. Transport. Transport. Come on, Santa. Everybody's rooting for Santa now. If you weren't before... I don't know why you hate Christmas. Not with the king, though. No, king's stuck there, but we do have a castle. In theory, we shouldn't be pushable until imp. We have, we have time. Where's my water? Well, I'm going to do the other side. Oh, that's awesome. Ten out of ten. I see pink things. Oh, it's a, a house. Where are we going with these guys? Just the outside. Okay. 
Green's expanded. Ooh, this is a great TC. It'll help give control over the water. Or it'll be easy to contest from water. I guess you can look at it that way too. We gonna make war wagons? Pink still bashing on walls with bills. Um, we're almost through a section actually. And we're in. Santa has very little presence on the main island now. He does have a castle and he is walling that castle in with the king. But that's a little scary. Uh, cav archers would murder that thing right now. Blue Star has Batar. Why are they still pushing green? Go that way and take Pink out. Pink is so exposed. Blue Star comes back and watch this this cast. Pink was so exposed. Oh God! Chopsticks is diving. Blue Star. Chopsticks going for the king. He's going for the king, guys. Gets a couple hits off. Throwing Axeman, clearing those up. Oh man. Good spot for Blue Star's king between those two castles, and he kept some throwing Axeman uh, defensively. Good call from Blue Star. Fuck them walls. <laughs> Grieving death. <laughs> Emma Stonewall is all offended. Gotta be careful. Emma Stonewall swings a mighty hammer. All in Axeman. They're a decent sniping unit. Blue Star tries to re... Oh, he's an imp. He can hit Treason. Blue Star knows exactly where the king is. Uh oh. The throwing axemen are coming in, guys. There's no way for uh, Santa to defend here other than this Manganel. This is a spicy situation. Santa Driver is clinging to life. There's not but a Manganel between the ruler and a bunch of would be assassins. Do I have my other intense music? Where's my other. Mango, buses, Franks. The minimum range factoring in there. It's Mango throwing Axeman defense. The king is trapped. Run, he's got to run. He's got to run. The king runs. There's Mangoes waiting on this side, dodging the Mango shots. Holy fuck. Santa dodging the castle of fire. There's throwing Axemen. There's Manganels. There's castles. Santa driver getting attacked from every possible angle. Somehow his king is still alive. <laughs> what a save from Santa driver. He has to delete that house and run on this side, but he can't because there's nowhere to run. The throwing Axemen coming back. He's got to go in a big circle. Avoid the throwing front. He's going to have to delete the market. He deletes the market. He's deleting everything, trying to bring the throwing axeman back towards the castle. How is Santa not dead? A single scorpion now to try and clear up the file throwing axeman and Santa driver lives through an absolute insane 2v1 push. <laughs> Let's go, chat. Blue Star's king getting sniped by knights. <laughs> no, he's got to focus him down. Blue Star goes down to another knight transport attack from Chopsticks. And now the knights are coming in on Santa Driver's King. And here we go again. They're still living throwing Axemen. There's a turtle it's ship. Good, turtle good. ship going to save the king. No, he's not. No, he's not. We got a block. Oh, God. Uh, double king snipe from Chopsticks wins it. That was fun. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to get in my head before the start. I was like, okay, I'm not going to get too excited because I need my voice for the Rag of Fires games for like tomorrow and Wednesday. And then it happened anyways because it's such a good game. <laughs> Yellow should have just attacked the pig. Yeah, the game was right there. Ah, I don't know what happened. GG well played. What a dumb 2v1. Santa, you almost turned it back. If you had killed those knights with the turtle ship, I don't even know what I would have done. 
Love this 1v1v1 format. Excited for the future rounds and future tournaments. Yo, Burgundian Bandit, welcome in. Thank you for the first time comment. Have an explosion. And thank you. Yellow is so passive. Yep. I think if yellow had uh, pushed pushed into yellow at all, like the same way they were pushing, or yeah, if yellow pushed into pink at all, and the same way they are pushing into green, it would have been a lot, big difference. We'll go back a little bit so you can see like a true APM there. Well played. Chopsticks, man, I thought you were going to do better in the tournament than you did. I really did, man. You, I think you got a little bit unlucky with getting matched up against one of the best <laughs> seeds. But, man, I, I wish we'd gotten more Chopsticks games in Ring of Fire. Yellow could just send the five Axemen to purple. Yep. There's literally a transport ship right there. There's knights right there! Is this open? It's open! I can't even. I have to move on. I can't. I have to move on. I have to. I can't. I have to. I, we have to. There's next game! Exclamation mark. Ticket. If you want to have, have, uh, try this format out, get your game casted by me. Show off in front of a bunch of people. Exclamation mark. Ticket to sign up Another now. one. Another one. If you win and you aren't subbed, Another I'll give you a sub. You had a long day at work prior to playing, another to be fair. One. You played great, Chopsticks. Anybody's welcome. Open ELO. And another one. Why not a 2v2v2? Would you guys prefer a 2v2v2? We'll see how many people get signed up. We could do a 2v2v2. How many people are signed another up? Another one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven people signed up. We can do a 2v2v2, then all of you guys can play except for one. All right, let's do that. You can sit out. All right, then we can just do everybody else and we'll just spin for the, we'll spin for the teams. Yeah, we'll do a 2v2v2, guys. I'm going to run a one-day tournament on Sunday with this format. Team one is going to be Lori. And who's going to get AR-12? It's going to be AR-12 and Lori will be team one. Team two will be Santa Driver. And Emma Stonewalls, which means our final pairing will be Gurus and Cheeseman Dirk. Interesting teams. I am going to ask, uh, I don't know, um, who was picked first here? Lori. Oh, and what map? Let's see, not Arabia, right? Hamburger, Aftermath, Crater, Meatballs. Meatballs? Meatballs is pretty good. We just we just did a hamburger. Meatballs would be pretty amazing with this. Aftermath would kind of suck. Crater or meatballs? Crater could be good too. Let's let the wheel decide. Nah, fuck it. I just I ref oh the wheel wants crater, guys. The wheel wants a crater. I shouldn't have let the I should have just gone with meatballs. Six six player meatballs would be crazy. But crater, crater will also also be insane with six players, so that's fine. I'm kind of excited for craters now.
Who's making predictions? It automatically does it when the game starts, Stiglitz. It's automated now. As soon as someone types hashtag match, bam. I got you guys. I might have been a bunch of people think it was going to stop. Let's go double douche drop. Oh man, a double TC drop would it be insane, Sonny? Does it do team predictions well? Yes, it does. It picks one of the players of each team and then it says that it's their team and it names the team that. I don't know if it's going to do a six player free for all well, but we'll test now and see. It should. Show you 4,000, the guy who made it said it was like set up to do everything now. <clears throat> My heart will go on everywhere. It's team, right? It's 2v2v2 SMV Blue Star. Two versus two versus two. So it's like 1v1. It's like basically cartographers. It's like we combine cartographers with Ring of Fire. Let's go with that. We just added a third team of two players. Six player free for all would be mental diplomacy. Yeah, six player. For, so here's the thing, Sonny, is every. Well, why is everything yellow now? Crash. Every free-for-all that has more than three players in it eventually turns into a three-player free-for-all in my experience. Like 90% of the time. But that's why we went with this, the 1v1v1 format with Rang of Fire. We're waiting for these guys to start. I'm looking at the spec dashboard. They are in the lobby. Five out of six people are in. We are waiting for one more player. We're waiting on Cheeseman's teammate. I believe that was Gurus Tabi Bufas. Gurus. Did we lose Gurus? You're coming. Okay. Thank you for checking in. Appreciate it. Gurus has good reputation. He'll be there. Give him a minute. Well, we give him a minute. When was the last time we looked at uh, Barry's tail wax ad? Recently. Okay, fine. Old memes. Good. Oh, you know, we haven't done it in a real, actual long time. Like, legitimately, I think it might be like two week weeks or so. Shrek of Just in time for Shrek phone, Adam.
all new product from Drupal Droid. The circle with a rectangle on top. Twist it, shake it, spread it all over, feed it to your kids. It's the circle with a rectangle on top, now available in red. Call this number right now with $19.99 in your hand and then slap the phone with your money to order now. Circle with a rectangle on top. Please note, circle with a rectangle on top is not intended to be used internally. Never leave a child alone with a circle with a rectangle on top or death, injury, or time travel may occur. Do not attempt to watch a circle with a rectangle on top with other shape or geometric figures. Local taxes are applicable. Your results may vary. Circle with a rectangle on top. Yeah! If this is your first time on the channel, is this you? Well, good news, Jimmy, because I've got an explanation that shows you exactly how this channel works. All you gotta do is click down here on Wheeler's Sack. Scroll through the list of available memes, pick the one you wanna see pop up on screen and click. And you can react to whatever's happening on screen. Isn't that great, Jimmy? But wait, there's more. That, no, actually, no, there's, that's about it. Memes by Grathrang. Wah, oh, oh, oh. So they're in lobby. We are still waiting for them to start. We are in lobby, waiting for them to start. They might have to remake the lobby because I think they missed the data mod. But that's okay. Yo, sleepy eyes. Yo, if you guys want to sign up for like a serious tournament still, there's going to be a one day tournament happening on Sunday with the same settings, but it's a two versus two versus two and it's individual sign up. So you don't have to have a partner. You just sign up. You'll get randomly assigned a tournament partner at the beginning. They just started. There you go. I back out of the previous game. No, you can watch me be a potato in real time. All 25 million of me. Now you can see my potato PC in real time. Now you can see me reopen the spectator dashboard in real time. There's a, an aroma of smoke. They disappear. Did they have to restart the lobby? Ah, oh, you're remaking the lobby. Okay, I called it. One second wide. There's 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 smoke a smell. Give me one moment. From the makers of Circle with a Rectangle on Top comes the all new Triangle with a hexagon nearby. Enjoy the peace and tranquility of triangle with a hexagon nearby the pool, at the beach, at the park, or with your family. Let it set you free. Subscriptions to triangle with a hexagon nearby are limited. Call now to start experiencing the freedom of triangle with a hexagon nearby. Please note, Triangle with a Hexagon nearby is not guaranteed to provide peace, tranquility, or freedom and will not be held responsible for any permanent scarring or disfigurement. Triangle with a Hexagon nearby is not intended for children, seniors, women, men, cats, dogs, or other small creatures. Keep sealed at all times. Triangle with a Hexagon nearby. Geometry is tranquility.
Okay. So, aroma of smoke was is someone probably using their chimney. It's cold. Uh, because it was like. But yeah. Also, I got a package, and I think. I think it's my. So I wanna I want a giveaway on Hera's channel. And I know Hera... kind of has moved to Argentina, right? But I took a lot of pride in his Canadian... This. This is kind of cool. It is the Hera bug! <laughs> Hera bug. Cool. Don't step on it! Thank you very much, Hera. Now I have two Age of Empires 2 mugs. I have my own mug and this one. I'm also wearing a Wololo shirt. I'm getting, I'm getting decked out with the AoE 2 gear. All right, we can focus on casting now. We finally got into the game. Holy moly! What the f- This is Air 12's king with three other- two other- three other opponents chasing him. He's going to pull it all the way back. Green's King is over here. I don't even know what it's doing. I haven't had time to introduce anything. We're on Crater, which is a wide open map. So that's why we're seeing some interaction happening already. Put on my new mug. What's going on is a two versus two versus two. Why is the top all not set in team colors? It's terrible. Oh my goodness. Santa Driver is going to walk into a town center in a second. I can't even. I gotta, I gotta, let me see if the other point of view actually looks better because we have this weird format going. Uh, free for all layout. Does that help at all? Makes it less, slightly less confusing, I think. We can't see their army anymore. And my macro thingy doesn't work either. All right, well, let's give this a shot with the 2v2v2 format because I don't like the names being all mixed up at the top. That's really confusing. As long as this still works, I'll be happy. All right, we can kind of go over our teams. We've got team one is Lori here in red and purple here to the south. That's AR-12 playing as the Malians and the Incas. Uh, to the north, we've got green and gray are a team. Green is Santa Driver playing as the Koreans. Gray is Emma Stonewalls playing as the Malians. And our final team is Cheeseman in yellow. That's easy to remember. Uh, and Teal is Gurus, Tabi, Bufas. Is, that's another team over here. Is this part of the tourney, says Kev the Swede? This is a viewer show match as per the stream title. And this is an example of the tournament that I'm going to run on Sunday, which is like a two versus two versus two format. I'm going to run it all in one day, just like we did with Hollow Winners. If one king die, they're out. No, if you, if a player gets their king eliminated, that that player dies. The team is not out. So if pink loses their king, then red is still in the game. And that team can still win. <clears throat> you have to kill both team teams kings to take the team out there's still also standard victory 
and wonder victory. There are seven relics in the center. So the 2K has a shot. I mean, 2K is partnered with Lori, who's like 1,400. Juris is like a 1,600-ish. Cheeseman? I don't know what Cheeseman Zelo is. Zelo is a 1,282. Someone ran us a, a prediction already. What's Cheeseman Zelo? Cheeseman's a 1,280. So they, that's not going to be horrible ever. And Emma Stonewalls and Santa. Santa's like a 15, 1,600. And Emma Stonewalls is like a 1,011 Elo. 1,100 Elo. So the scariest one is definitely AR-12 and Lori. The 1400 and the 2K, they're probably going to get targeted first. By Cheeseman? Did the scout hit it? Eagles from Lori could just go and poke over at green. I mean, if he runs over to, to Santa Driver's base with a bunch of eagles, might be able to just snipe the king. These guys got pretty good line of sight. So it'll be easy to locate. Nice job by the Eagles here by Lori. Scout's running into Emma's base. Good thing Emma's king is in the middle. Cheeseman has no idea where Emma, Emma's king is. Just went over to uh, take, a, take a shot at it, I guess. AR-12 is right next to Gurus Tabi Bufus. AR-12! AR-12's king's getting attacked by the scouts! Gotta be careful here. You need to, like, block with a vill. There is a good block by AR-12. Lock the scout with the villa is a good play. Meanwhile, we're also poking away at some of the uh, woodline villas that were loose. I thought I saw yellow go take another poke at Gray's base. Gray's king's in the middle, though. Put some spears next to it. Emma Stonewalls is trying to wall all of the relics in the way Emma Stonewalls does. Santa Driver, I think, is just doing typical Santa Driver things, trying not to die to the eagles. Ah! 
Yep, got my mom's in there. Emmy. Laps burgers. Ooh, ooh. Or uh, smash burgers. Which one we call it? When they smash slap burgers? What are they called? When they smash the patties down? Mm-mm-mm. Slap burgers? Smash burgers? Slaps burgers? Smash? Smash? I feel like there was a slaps, a slap sh burgers or something. I don't remember now. Smash burger? If Emma's middle wall pays off, it's going to be a huge win advantage. Right now, Santa's going to, I mean, it, just in protecting the kings alone from cav archers. And then green plays normal, right? Plays semi-normal. Hopefully he doesn't die to eagles. We need a house here. We need like two houses here. This house. Luke, what are you doing? Hey. Oh, this doggo's trying to steal my ice cube tray. What is this? What, what does he want with an ice cube tray? What kind of dog eats ice cube trays? I apologize. <laughs> or is it going to be dumb ways to die? Right to jail. Right away. Teach yourself how to fly. Eat a two week old. Refrigerated pie. Dumb ways to die. So many dumb ways to die. You just wanted that animation, admit it. Rush mid and kill two kings. I mean, maybe it's going to be tough until, like. I guess you could castle drop it, but who even knows that this is happening? The 2K has no idea. Red. Red has no idea. That entire team has no idea that's even happened. Teal. Doesn't even know that's happened. Yellow has the slightest idea that maybe something strange is happening. Yes. But other than that, nothing. That's the entire, the entire other two teams have no idea that this has happened right now. To be clear. Well, Purple sent scouts forward and found out about it. It says they walled the middle. Santa driver sent stone to Emma Stonewalls. <laughs> Is Emma up? Emma's up the castle age. We're going to castle the middle. Castle the middle. Relics. Castle the middle. Middle. Castle the middle. And monastery. Monastery first. Monastery first. Yeah, monastery first. And then castle. And then a castle. And, and you know what's crazy? Santa's the one building the monastery. The Cav Archers are going to go hit AR-12. Juris is like, I'm going to go take the 2K out. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, we're going to lose to, like, the weirdest relic victory ever. Yellow's hitting gray, but the, there's, there's nothing there. All right, the relic grabbing has begun. This is an insane play from Santa Driver and Emma Stonewalls. To wall in the relics. Emma says, get the relics. <laughs> he's, yes, that's what he's doing. All or nothing. That's the way to go. Look, he's going to get multiple monks out to get them in faster. I don't even know when the relic victory starts. I'll pop the uh, the game. You see the top right corner looks weird. That's because it's from the end game. I don't know if they have the relic timer in this mode. It might actually, might actually show up in this mode. Petards would work. Someone just that drops. You don't even need to drop an offensive castle. You drop like one right here if you're yellow. Somewhere around here. And then just petard in. I think we just build like four castles though. And then try and hold. And all in on building castles. And holding with castles. I think that's the way to go. And then make a mangonel and some and some and some mangoes. Or a siege workshop and some mangonels. 
This is insane. I don't know what AR-12 is going to do. AR-12 is dealing with cav archers running through his base. I don't even, probably missed a whole bunch of sick, like, king dodges. But I'm contemplating the relic victory. <laughs> this is a good one. Air 12's got 55 bills. Why is there. Who, who got in? Somebody got in? What's open? <laughs> Ooh, but the Jabettos are a great eagle counter. Like I said, second castle for sure. The Jabettos the will kill the, the eagles with a little bit of micro. Are they faster than the eagles? 1.25 versus 1.15. Yeah, they're faster. They should never die to the Eagles in theory. Doesn't matter. This will work. But the Siege Tower is still there. We can just make more. They have the Wonder Victory in. The Wonder Victory has been activated. 300 years. What? Oh, because it's a team game. He's going to make it extra hard. Yeah, Gray is pretty dead, though, other than that. Like, Gray's entire eco is this. We literally have 11 villagers. <laughs> Just layers and layers of walls. That's definitely the way to go. How's Green's base look? Reed's got some okay wood income. We got five bills on wood. We've got some gold income. We even have a, still a little bit of stone left. Yeah, but this, whatever they got is what they got. I like the double layer stone walls. They need to not be next to each other, though, because I think that makes them super vulnerable to, like, rams and petards and stuff. This is an insane play. It's the holy onion. Guys, you can sign up 2v2v2 tournament on Sunday. It's a one-day tournament like Hollow Winners was. We siege towered the eagles in to Green's woodline. Big brain plays, guys. Pink still is getting pushed by Teal. No, they're just ignoring Green, I guess. And Teal and Green and 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 Gre Teal is just wants to kill the two K. I think. Eventually, Gurus Toby Bufus will be turned into goo by uh, by AR twelve. I predict. Onions have layers. Red says, you know, there's a timer running for the middle. Because red can see what's happening to pink. <laughs> Lies. No timer. Yellow's pushing, to be fair. Teal's going to lose the game by pushing AR-12. Threatened by Cheeseman. Is it that close? I guess it is like kind of close to those those uh, camel archers. We need a siege workshop in Mangos. We can't really... I guess we, we need to get those guys working. There's only two of them. We need some more Woodville somehow. Lose eco and can't support the relic defense. I mean, this is not completely unsupported. Did we just let the yellow in? Yeah. Why did we just let yellow in? He's going to snipe the king. He's going to kill us. He's going to kill Emma Stonewall's king. Oh, we got to block with the Vils. Nope. Villagers, villagers block the king. The villagers block the king. Now Emma Stonewall's is dead. Green is still alive. 
Lock gates is a thing. Yes, definitely is a thing. But if you have to not stand in, you stand in it. It doesn't. It doesn't matter how locked it is if you're standing with it stuck open. Now, that being said, they still have to come and clear this relic out. Santa Driver can still sit and try and defend. So there is still a timer. So they do, someone does have to go and deal with that eventually. What green should do is sell the relics to people. Be like, hey, yellow and teal, if you attack purple and red, I'll give you four relics. <laughs> Right? And then try and sneak something right here. <laughs> I don't know. What's what's yellow's line of sight look like? See? There you go. Perfect sniping spot to sneak something. You just gotta like jiggy jiggy jiggy. That could work, right? Probably not. Everybody sees the monastery. I just should have locked the gate. You didn't think green would leave it open with a camel archer? These things happen, Emma. To be fair, you also blocked your own king with your villager when you could have definitely saved it. So, you are at least slightly the fault. Also, like, your defense of your base was not good. But you did, you sacrificed all to get the walls up. Plus, Emma, it could still work. I don't know if how far into the game you could see or whatever, but... You know, if they don't come and push soon, it's going to be a problem. Santa needs mangonels. If Santa adds mangoes, plus these are actually still useful. They're not completely useless. It would be better if they were garrisoned in the castle. Your battle will kill the siege if they move in. This is this might still be okay. Because it'll defend it if they break in. And it's gonna stop this teal. The teal pink thing has to stop. Or red and yellow have to take turns trying to take out green's thing. Green is ready for a defense. Teal's making manga die. That'll do a good job. Uh, the, the Malians get the extra pierce armor, though, right? They might not do so good. At least not until they're elite, have chemistry, all of the things. And then the Malian champions will kick in. As opposed to the two-handed swords. They'll get even worse. I don't know. Now, uh, look at the castle raining shots down. That's We can't fight under the castle, though. We could probably have taken that fight if the castle wasn't. Ooh, pink. Pink, you gotta get your king out of there. Send it over red's base somewhere. Ooh, purple actually. I feel like ooh, there's that's where why wow, there's eagles and there's cav archers diving the base. Purple's king being kept by this castle for now. Teal's trying to kill purple, I think, so that then they can go and deal with red, green. I don't know. They don't deal with green soon. They're gonna lose. We're down to 140 years left, and we are wiping. The thing is, we're throwing army at each other this whole time, and you need army to push the middle. What the goddamn is yellow doing? All right, well, that's pretty mean. I think yellow's just going to go try and take the relic out. Yellow could just come in from this side and kill green pretty fast, I think. Red's also pushing, so the two secondaries are going to try and take the relic victory out. Will Santa be able to defend 2v1? Uh, my likelihood monitor uh, is reading at 3%. But he could do it. 126 years is not that long. Like two generations. Have to stonewall behind if the castle. Well, the thing is, the Trebs will move here. The Trebs could hit the, the monastery from here. That's the real problem. Is you don't even need to break in. So if you just move in with the Trebs, you'll be able to snipe the monastery. That's the actual biggest issue. Biggest issue. And you can't move the relics to a different monastery. 
They have to stay there. What we need is just this to take a long time. I wonder if these guys are aimed at the monastery right now. It looks like they might be. Well, the dream is dead. Rebuild the monastery. Do it again. Because now yellow might just leave, right? There's no point in attacking anymore. Do it again. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the Geppettos, for some reason, are attacking. They got bad. Why? <laughs> why are the Javettos? I don't know why they did that. All right, here we go. Relic victory again. Still 300 years, yeah. Even though there's two, there's like there's only one of you. But hey, it's also gonna be irritating as heck for everybody. So now, now we're having a direct outcome effect on the outcome of the game because yellow's gonna run into teal's base while teal pushes green again. <laughs> yellow, we got we got a cavalier cavalry archer combination here in the south. We get styled. Yellow pushing pink. Yellow killing pink. Killing all the things. You like the 2v2v2 format, Emma? Red's killing was left of green. Green's monastery somehow still alive. 269 years left. It's just at least put it in Red's thing. Maybe better not to have all the eggs in one basket. This is a serious push being set up by Yellow again. Or is it? They're running away. Oh my god. Imagine if Green holds this time. That would be insane. It's the second time that does it. Pink desperately needs help. I don't know what army Lori has, but hopefully it's not nothing. All right, he's got some eagles. Get the eagles on those cav archers, man. Green is doing his best to turtle up. <laughs> Santa was 2v1 last game. Now he's 4v1. <laughs> oh! Oh, the eagles find it! Wow. That that was so f***ing close. That was so damn close. Imagine if one of these players went down. I mean, then blue, pink and red would take out green first. That's not that would that's not in green's. In. Green's interest is in th these guys staying alive as making this fight as awkward as possible. For pink and red. Red really needs to be the one to kill green at this point. I don't know if he can. 
Because then pink will die. Oh, this is a this is ugly. Green's not in a horrible position, although someone probably will eventually come over and try to snipe. The trebuchets are working on that castle, but they're gonna get just demolished. Santa Driver clinging to life has a secret remote wood base that I don't know if anybody knows about. And yeah, nobody knows about that wood base. Secret wood base now. Pretty critical for Santa Driver. Boot is here. The moment the relic timer gets into danger time, everyone will mass the middle and wipe them out. Maybe. But that might cost some of the game. Red and yellow are kind of fighting over here now. <laughs> Deal says we need trade, bro. I kind of am liking the green position this time around. Camp Scarls are insane to creep in death. Plus, that, that Pierce Armor applies to the Pikemen, too, don't forget. Makes them rough, to, just as rough to deal with. Teal just kind of got uh, overwhelmed, like, insanely. I don't see much army left. Hussar Switch is going to die to this as well. Burger. Hmm. Can someone use Steve the chat? Is this, did we survive? We still got 150 years left. Steve not working at all. won that fight. King's King, King is still kind of exposed in my opinion. We're finally pushing the middle again. Oh my god, the Auditor shot on those eagles. No, the trebuchets are hitting the monastery now. Oh, they got to hit the treb. We got to get the, the Auditors on the trebs somehow. Auditors got to get on the trebs. Oh my god, the auditor shots on the eagles! 
Ah, uh, we popped up. We popped the monastery. That's it again. What a hold from green, though. I actually kind of thought he might have had that. Ridiculous. Ridiculous value. Build another monastery. <laughs> There's still gold. You're 600 gold here still. Green has made it very not worth it for anybody to push him anymore <laughs> and not finish him off. Does he only have like three bills left at all? Green is comp oh, he still has these guys. He still has got he still has those guys up north. Build a wall around your town. <laughs> it's a classic. Yellow trade with purple's market. Burger number two, I have three. This is also my breakfast. What am I eating? It doesn't matter, I'm fat. What's more important is it's 890 something some odd calories for three of them. That's the most important part. Double King Snipe! Wow! That was insane! Yell's still not dead. Yeah, Yellow managed to live. For now. That was insane! You still work out, by the way. Sexy, shut up. No. <laughs> I'm fat now. I'm calorie counting again. I just, I literally started on the first of the month. Day one, fail. Day two, success. Day three, wildly under calories. Today is day four. This is 895 calories or 898 calories or something, whatever. 896. Whatever that divided by three is. Somewhere around there.
Polika. I'm starving. You gotta love Santa's can-do attitude. The problem is now he his only ally is like yellow. Possibly. Who's who's begging to get sniped? Lori did it once, he'll do it again. Who's researching treason? Treason, are you? Is he just messing with people, guys? Oh, the king had to dodge treb shots. I'm going to eat my third burger off camera. You guys made me self conscious. Emma, how excited would you be if you won this game? <laughs> He's literally, literally in chat watching it happen. Nope, it, it's going to die. Ah, the death wave, as I like to call it, consisting of two skirmishers. Don't open the gate. He's dead. Down goes cheese, man. And we are once again going to have to shut down the relic victory. <laughs> Easy second. <laughs> And Emma Stonewalls and Santa Driver are second place. <laughs> the 
fifth time might work. Yeah, maybe. I mean, look at Lori. He just lost like 70 uh, eagles for no reason. So anything can happen. So it turns out that Lori actually absolutely f***ing hates eagle warriors and their entire line. And he just feeds them nonsensically to onagers whenever he's given the chance. And uh, AR-12 has a similar attitude, believe it or not, where he likes feeding uh, siege towers. So he hates siege towers. He was actually, as a young child, he was attacked by a vicious siege tower in the wild. And uh, he, he worked really, really hard uh, to, to overcome his fear of siege towers. And he actually, now he lives in them, but he still hates them. And he sends them at his opponent. Air 12, you should get help. So brave. No. Damn it, creeping death. Damn Clap if you've God. ever wanted to kill somebody. Clap if you've ever wanted to kill somebody. More eagles must be sacrificed to the great set. Rebouché sniped it? What? From downtown! <laughs> Treb to the face is how this one ends. And it's gone. Ten out of ten. Would watch this mode again. Sunday we're gonna have a whole day of two v two v twos. You guys can sign up as long as you can be around for most of the day on Sunday, or all the day on Sunday. You can sign up for the tournament. Uh, we should have at least. 18 spots, as many as 54, depending on how many people sign up. GG, do you guys want to do another one? How much green did gold make? <laughs> Let's actually check that out. 9,439! Almost 10,000 gold. You should auto win at 10,000 relic gold. All that gold and nowhere spent? I mean, Santa, Santa was making onagers. Santa was making onagers. Something I never thought in my life I would ever say is that Santa is making onagers. Oh, I should bring back. One moment here. It's Christmas time, guys. I have to do a thing. Let me make sure this is working. You okay, know, that's not what I thought it was. There it is. That's the one. Hold on a second. <clears throat> I'm going to activate a Christmas meme right now. Give me one moment. You will experience darkness. Stay calm. This is normal. 
I'm in the right scene. You might experience a loud Santa machine gun sounding noise. So I just, I got to make some adjustments, some precision adjustments here. Just one moment. <clears throat> I got to turn on chroma key. So. All right. All right. So <clears throat> just give me a minute. Well, I'll let you guys take control of uh, the Santa machine gun. Give me a moment while I get that set up on my uh, on my stream here. You guys can watch me do it for a minute. Uh, actions. Wait, do I have a Santa Santa's pissed? There we go. Uh, Santa firing machine gun. This is from last year. It's perfect, but it's gonna be in a. I'm gonna have to change this to be in overlay memes, and the name of this one is Santa 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 machine gun. There we go. And I'm just gonna duplicate that. Delete the old one. Change this to hidden. Add a trigger. Okay, so wait. Uh, platforms, champ player. We have to add it for. Do I have any that are disabled right now? No. Um, I might have to change one of these to Santa. So we have nine plus 40 is 40. Now, wait, maybe I don't have to. Ooh, maybe I don't have to. One second. Can I add a trigger? Twitch. Channel reward. Reward redemption. Reward. Santa's fist. Guys, what's a, what's a, we'll make it 1225. And we'll make it holiday green. Global cooldown has to be, no, we're just going to assume it's like fucking 60 seconds. Great reward. All right, you guys now can set off Santa's. Wait, 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 wait! Don't do it yet. One, do it. One second. One second. Don't do it. Don't do it yet. Got the. Okay, now you can do it. Live memeing on the spot. Um, as an accompanying video to this, I also have this, this. <clears throat> oh. Witnesses. I used to have problems. We all have problems. That's why I looked for a solution. Hi, I'm Barry the Beaver, and I'm here to inform you about our all new product, Barry's Tail Wax and Lubricant. Tired of your tail not making that awesome slapping sound you love? Are your friends, loved ones, and co-workers disgusted by your horrible slap? Is your tail covered in boils, lesions, or does it fail to smell like vanilla? Well, our vanilla-scented tail wax is made with just 43 ingredients, tailor-selected to make it easy to open, easy to apply, and even easier to remove. <laughs> Why go through life with a substandard tail? Also, I, I guess if you're a sick you can use it as lubricant. You sick. Berry's tail wax. Smells like vanilla. Tastes like beaver. You sick. That's the wrong screen. That's the wrong screen. That's the right screen. There we go. 
Exclamation mark ticket. You want to be in the next viewer show match? We're going to do another. Let's do another 2v2v2v2. Two two two. Or three way 2v2. Two two. And another one. Another one. Another one. Everybody can sign up. I would be I would be doing like payouts or something Another for one. but we're in the middle of the tournament, so I'm saving all the donos for the for Rang of Fire. Let's do another 2v2v2, guys. This is fun format. And we'll go on meatballs. Another one. Yo, to Laralage. SMV Blue Star Stiglitz is my real life friend. And he used to watch my stream back when nobody was watching my stream. Right when the pandemic started, also, um, I had a whole bunch of streams with my friends playing Ark and something else. What was the other thing we played on stream? We played something else. Did we play AOE on stream? We might have played AOE on stream. How many people signed up? One, two, three, four, five people signed up. We need one more person. One more person to sign up for the 2v2v2, guys. Uno mas. You, person who's thinking about it, do it. It's cool, and I'm just going to yell about your game while I talk about crap. I'm, like, in chill mode right now. I'm semi, I'm casting the cool parts. This is terrible music. Stop it. Good music, go. Do we have six? It's still open. It's still open. You can still sign up. Exclamation mark ticket. You got to feed the baby girl in about 20 minutes. Just like strap a stick with some food on the end on a string, and then she can... Spend 20 minutes figuring out that in addition to the 20 minutes from now. There you go. Solved. All you need is a stick and a string. Oh, Air 12 signed up. All right, we got it. I'm going to set the teams. And we're going to go to Meatballs. Air 12, you're still in the tournament, right? Or did you get eliminated? I can't remember now. Jalaralage. Your partner is going to be Spin. Emma Stonewalls. Jalaralage and Emma Stonewalls. You guys are team one. Ow! I hit my hand. It's team two. Those burgers were so good. It's going to be Pride Gaming 96. And Blue Star, which means Chopsticks and AR-12 will be our final team. Emma Stonewalls, were you in the first team? Why don't you get the, the lobby set up? I trust Emma. Misplaced trust? Oh, no. Oh, you know what I'm going to do while we wait for these guys to set up? You guys can watch me do this, too. Life of being a Twitch streamer. That's today, I think. These all need to go to YouTube.
That was from this broadcast. Six games in a row, and then I cast six games in a row. It's pretty great. Look at the average time of the game. It's 36 minutes, 30 minutes, 33 minutes, 22 minutes, 31 minutes, 41 minutes, 26 minutes, 27 minutes, 23, 30, 46, 58, 31, 39. They're short games, man. It's sick. Sling to Fast Imp Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the fog slide. <laughs> so there, I actually got something u useful done. I'm going to double check on YouTube that they all actually got uploaded. If I was being serious, I'd make a thumbnail for all of them. I'd have to make a thumbnail for every video. <laughs> I don't have the time to do that. I just don't. Am noob, what do says Jalaralaj? You take this code from Twitch chat, this one, and you do that with it, and you put it in your browser, and then you push enter, and it'll say your website wants to open this application. And as long as you're in the main menu of the game, and not like halfway into a game like this, and it'll automatically load you into the game when you push enter and yes. So you come in here, you see this, see this thing? You push open Age of Empires URL helper and then BAM. For some reason there's no slots, but that should work. Or you could probably do this. Or maybe rang. Or I don't know what the fuck they called it. There you go. Rat Gang 2v2v2. Two two. You don't need the mod. Are you missing like one of your base mods? It's okay. You can take a minute. Stiglitz, when are you? Are we chilling tonight, or what's the deal with that? Are we are we gonna get a gaming session in, and when? Earlier is better for me at this point. What's earlier, like, like not fucking like nine o'clock or ten o'clock? I've been falling asleep then. Like less, like an hour now, four hour or so from now, maybe. I probably got like this game and maybe one more game with my stream that I'm going to do. And that'll be done. I don't want to burn out on casting. I got a whole bunch to do. To, I'm, I don't know. I might be live tomorrow, guys. I promised my mom I would get her stream going. So I don't know if that's going to work. And then on uh, Wednesday, I'll definitely be live. All right. Good luck. Have fun, everybody. Will this work? Nice. That's the lobby right there. We're waiting for it to become ongoing. It is now ongoing. I'm the scat man. We could fit in the entire Shrek movie.
We I told you we'd fit the whole movie in. You didn't believe me. I could see you not believing me the entire time. And yet here we are. And the game still has not actually technically begun because we're loading in past the, the spec delay. So here we go. We're finally in. Diglets, believe it or not, Diglets, you're the one who set off the predictions. Did you know that? I don't know if you figured that out yet. But by you typing hashtag match, that automate automates the, the predictions going off. It's pretty sweet. You guys can vote now. You got about two minutes. I'll get in quick. We got yellow and blue here. Pride and Blue Star playing in the West. Uh, Blue Star is the Byzantines. About a 900 ELO. I don't know what Pride... What's Pride's ELO? Pride's an 1100. So they're kind of low ELO. 2000 combined ELO here. Persians and uh, Byzantines. Green in the North is going to be working with Pink. Green, the 2K, playing as the Spanish. Pink, 1000 ELO, playing as the Cubans. The Southeast, we've got Emma Stonewalls. 1050 playing with uh that uh, Johnny the monkey who is a 1480 here. And we are on meatballs. Oh, players are bases are connected on meatballs. This I did not know. That's insane. I did not know that was a thing. That makes this way cooler. <laughs> That's sick. I love that. If you didn't know, this is ungarrisonable kings. No so kings cannot be garrisoned. That includes transport ships. So kings are stuck on these islands. Guys, if you're new to the channel, give me a right one in chat if you're new to the channel. You've never been here before. I'm interested. Because I've seen a lot of new people hanging around channels these days. And I want people to feel welcome here. And I just want to let you know that you absolutely are welcome. There's like, I've never been here before, says Ebrowis on the VIP with a moment badge. <laughs> if Emma Stone walls her own island, she'll be my hero. <laughs> Wonder Sling would be interesting. AR12 and, and Chopsticks talking about it. Is the map just a bunch of small islands? No. Or is there a bigger middle map? Big land in the middle. Got it. So red doesn't actually know what's going on. Ooh. All right. You guys ready for a doggo cam? You have to be quiet. Okay. You have to be quiet for a doggo cam. Me. One moment. Darn it. There, there we go. go. Excuse me for one second. Who's a pooch? Yes, twenty forty two, Pog Jam. Not my first time here, but fairly new to the stream. You ever seen my doggo before? Doggo doesn't get on the stream too often. <laughs> what a good doggo. Alright. Focusing. Focusing in. Chopsticks is building a dock. So Chopsticks says he wants to sling his, his teammate, AR-12, into Fast Imp Wonder. We want to, we're going to see if AR-12 follows it through. That was their plan. I can fight and defend with Kenny as the slinger. I don't want to get slow. <laughs> it's like a pride thing, guys. Let's see if Chops... Chopstick should just fast imp into a wonder build, and then AR-12 will defend. I actually think that's probably a better build. Because otherwise, Chopstick's build would be potato from trying to sling. Uh, and AR-12 will have, like... 
way more res than he's used to having with like a standard build. <laughs> it's not gonna help as much as you'd think. But I think chopsticks just like going into a decent build, building up, and then going imp, building a wonder, and then having air twelve defend is solid. That's a good plan. Play a twenty four e two when you're ready. Okay, that's fine. I'm down for a bit. Twenty forty two is Garbanza Flirco TV. I agree, but it is the Garbanza that I have access to with my friends. It is what I play to turn my brain off from AOE. And it's the only one with like somewhat updated any cheat. Oh. You want like vehicle combat with infantry? It's like your only good option, <clears throat> unfortunately. Even now. Battlefield 5 and 1 are plagued with cheaters. On PC, it's pretty bad. At least in my experience. Emperor Alison is on a 7 stream streak. Nice. My favorite of all time is Battlefield 1. I'm not saying Battlefield 2042 is a good game. It's just the game that I'm playing, and it's it's way better than it used to be. It's playable now. That's all I really need with my friends. I needed a playable FPS. With tanks. 100% right about everything you said. Let's go! We had an internet agreeance. We play like once a week, Flirko, just as friends. Battlefield 4 was amazing. I agree, Lone Wolf AoE. I agree. I miss I miss when Battlefield 4 was like the one the game. Oh man. I, I was personally the best at Battlefield 1. That was the game I had the most skills with a capital Z on. At. But only on PlayStation. <laughs> They redid Battlefield 1. They could just do another World War 1 game. They could just do that. <laughs> or Napoleon. Or the or the American Civil War. Or I don't know. Something. You got a hundred star with cavalry? Battlefield Vietnam. Or Battlefield the next one. That'd be sick too. Need to finish the game. If they released 2042 in the state it is now. If it came out exactly as it is right now at release. People would be like, oh, this is okay. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. I would say it's almost better than Battlefield 5. I would say it's better than Battlefield 5, to be honest. I like it more than Battlefield 5. But there's just not enough of it. And the maps that there are are worse than the Battlefield 5 maps were. <laughs> ah! Okay. Focused on AoE. <laughs> I, it is a kind of like a passive map to open, but it's going to get interesting quick. Well, now you guys are tempting me with the FPS talk. This is what you've done to me. You're making me really want to play 2042 with my friends is what you're really doing. Play 24. Play for a few weeks and never touched it. That's about right. You left the comp scene. You were a competitive player, Furco? We were considering being competitive with, which one was it, Mike? Was it Battlefield 4? We were really, like, my friends are were both top 100. I was top 1,000 in Canada. They were top 100 in the world, I think. What is this transport? doing? I think we're just scouting around with it, making sure there's no docks. It's probably a good call from Pride here. A little paranoid. I'm very easy to distract with things that I need. Oh, Battlefield 1, they announced the competitive mode and then it never happened. Correct. That was very sad. Ooh, blue landed gray. Purple landed gray, pardon me. Chopsticks has this has is pushing Emma Stonewalls. Emma Stonewalls is building stone walls, of course. Where's the king? Where's he hiding? Oh, there he is, under the TC. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, there was going to be like a five-person squad mode. A competitive five-person squad mode. Four person? I think it was five people. All right, Vils are being transported across by chopsticks. Power? Are we going to tower rush? Thieves workshop. What are we going to do? What is this? We're building an outpost. We don't even know what Emma Stonewalls is doing. Emma Stonewalls has a really good idea what's happening. <laughs> You know what's crazy is we have a ton of scouting information because we had like a, I guess a galley went over here, it looks like. Or is that just the scout? I don't even know. How long will you be doing show matches for? I'm going to do, if this one's fast, I'll pro I'll do two more. If this one and the next one are fast, I'll do two more. But I was planning for the next, I would say for the next hour. I'm going to play Battlefield with my friends who I build on two days in a row. Here's how bad of a person I've been, guys. Here's been here's the, here's the shitty grass packs. Oh, God, that's going to die. Just get him out. Get him down. <laughs> they barely made it. Here's how bad of a friend grass ring has been. I missed two session days with my friends in a row. Two in a row. I slept and then I missed spring show match because I slept Grath tired Grath always tired Let me tell you 33 hit me like a pile of bricks Drop. I thought Stellar didn't show up, so she bailed as well, probably. I think she messaged. Oh, no, no, no. She messaged me to see if I was around, and then I didn't respond because I was asleep. Then Spring messaged me. I didn't respond because I was asleep, and then Mish bailed. So it seems like Mish was the one who bailed, but in actuality, I'm a fuck up. I feel like I'm actually getting caught up on life now that I've been fired by two of my hockey teams. This is chaos. I have a time to do things like laundry. <laughs> I got up at 4 a.m. and went through Springs VOD looking for that damn match. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am. That's I failed as a streamer. I failed on every level, honestly. I try to treat streaming very professionally. That's actually like the first. That's the biggest fuck up I've ever had. By far. I can't think of a, a thing I fucked up worse than that. That's pretty bad. I don't know how to make it right either. <laughs> I hope he wins against ACCM and Maddie. If Spring wins against ACM and Maddie. I'm gonna, I don't know. I'll shave my head on the spot. It looks like shit anyway. Make my girlfriend happy. Oh no, I made myself sad. No, focus. Focus on the AOE, Grath Ring. Let the pain fade away. We are fishing our great fish. And I wouldn't just say it's great fish, guys. I would say it's fantastic fish. All right. Wait, why did the hockey teams fire you? I'm worried to say exactly why. 
Because it might get used against me at some point. But if I tell the truth, I can't get in trouble, right? No matter what. But I don't exactly know why they fired me. I only have reasons that I suspect. The reasons I suspect are pretty terrible. But I don't know if I should say them aloud. But... I should not have been fired. Um... Was it money? They, one of them claimed it was money, but they also did just... Okay, so here's two facts that I'll state in succession. The, the, they claimed it was money. They also just paid $35,000 for players. Or something like that. Some, some exorbitant amount of money for the players they signed. So... I have a lot cheaper than thirty-five thousand dollars. I'll tell you that. I'm not even like a four tenth of that. I don't think. Maybe for the rest of the season. Probably less than a probably less than half of a tenth of that to pay me for the rest of the season. I think something like that. Uh, the other team. So I, I don't know how much I really want to say. I did very little wrong from my perspective. The other team, I had a... Here's what happened. A team showed up with a goal horn. I couldn't hear the points they, the referee was giving me, so I marked them all as the goalie. I said, this needs to be reviewed by the league. I marked them as the goalie, so it stands out on the game sheet as which goals need to be reviewed. Nobody liked that. Um, I don't... There was no... Apparently, the league did, did nothing. It gave no fines or warnings or anything. Uh, and then my team fired me after that without any explanation if it was related to that i don't even know it seems it was that was why i got fired by the first team then like two weeks later a team that had i'd previously had an issue with where they wanted me to put specific points in for players instead of what the referees had told me uh, threatened to withhold pay and then two weeks later they claimed they don't have enough money to pay me after Buying kids for thirty-five thousand dollars or something. You guys do the math. I got fired by two teams for nothing. Not very much, if anything. With that little to no explanation of really why. Claiming I was paid to getting paid too much, basically, it was the one team. Their official explanation, which I'm again, I'm not, I'm skeptical of, given what I just said. That seems not likely to be entirely true. This is chaos. There's too many areas to monitor. Gre green and pink are one team, and then gray and red are another team. So this is red pushing gray. Gray pushed red all the way back. Or pardon me, gray pushed yeah. Red back, uh, pink all the way back. Red helped out. Red has kind of pushed yellow a little bit, but not really that much. And yellow's teammate blue is in this confrontation with green. There is a lot going on. 2v2v2 two two is tough to cast. Overwhelming majority of theft in the U.S. takes place by poor against perps against workers. Well, these are hockey teams. Um, I like my hockey teams. I like announcing for all the teams I worked for. I announced for them for like nine, ten years. Kind of feels like I, I don't know, deserved better. Is maybe I'm feel like being entitled. To I felt like I was not, that's not the way I, you would let go of someone who's been around there that long. 
no offer to negotiate at all. Be like, hey, can you take 200 a game instead? You're costing us too much money. We don't have enough fans to justify paying you that much. We have to go down to $200 a game. They didn't even offer that. They just got this fucking got rid of it. So clearly that's not the real issue or they otherwise they would have negotiated or tried to. Something. No. I don't know. Or maybe they think I'm worth what I'm asking and they just don't even want to. I don't even know, man. No idea. Baffling. Uh, well, I got did get hired by one team within hours of the one team of the first team firing me. I got hired like six hours later, um, which covered like half the games that I lost ish from the one team. And now I'm searching for another team to replace the other thing, but that's not likely in the middle of a season. I got lucky. The one thing wanted me. It was technically still at the beginning of their season, so I got lucky. Yep. I'm totally defocused now. Boom. AoE casting quality drop. This is probably going to be my last game casting because I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I've lost it. Completely lost it. My chat doesn't tell me to shut up sometimes when they need to. What's happening, blue green? Oh my nose. That was itchy. Dog was being cute. Well, Emma's not dead yet. I wish I was in the other view, but it messes the teams up. Air 12 and chopsticks look like they're dominating. They just set up for a wonder victory now. Perfect house squares. Maybe we're setting up for the uh, the wonder walls. You're my wonder wall. Hey, Mr. King, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make my dreams come true. Also possibly get sniped by trebuchets and missionaries. Air 12 went with the Spanish. My casting of this game has been subpar. These guys watching this game back, I'm f***ing sorry. Why is Emma so, so dead, though? Come on. Emma. I'm new to AoE Sue. Thank you for the follow. Quality casting back. <laughs> All the cat gems. <laughs> blue dead. Wait, how's blue not dead? Guys, how's blue not dead? <laughs> What does he do? What does he do? But do we have a demo? Where's the demo ship? Oh man, imagine if we demoed the Vills. Right. Gotta make a, a monk. Yellow, you gotta do something. Yellow's dying. Threatened by air 12. What?
Oh, the bill. Oh, the bill's gonna kill the king. She's got supremacy. The bills are gonna kill the king if we're not careful. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. The bills get the king. Supremacy bills kill Blue Star's king. All right, there you go. Are you happy now, Stiglitz? Blue Star is now dead. With my Blue Star. Pride in yellow, his partner. I'm still alive. I wouldn't say well, but still, oh, we're not so bad, actually. He almost has the same score as red and gray, so that's not great. Someone's got to do something about pink and green. Teams need to coordinate. Pink is ca pink is docking Emma Stonewalls. How are we going to get in here? Where's the king at? There he is. Cavalry archers. Give me the cavalry archers. Johnny the monkeys fighting the 2k off. AR-12 whipping the Supremacy Vills in there. AR-12 score equals Johnny the Monkey and Emma Stonewall's score. Never mind. Never mind their average. A blue star went supernova. What's the opposite of a supernova? When it implodes. Supernova is when it explodes, right? Or is it both? Hypernova. The ghoulification artifact. The pizza nova. <laughs> Can't believe I read that out loud. Kanye West career. Roasted. It's happening. <laughs> we walled the king in with the supremacy bills. Supremacy villagers, go! It's a, it's a 2v2 now. One team eliminated entirely. The goofication factor has reached a significant ratio. And the Pride and Blue Star have become the goo that you never want to become. And in come the light cavalry. Red and gray are pressuring the crap. Uh, Emma Stonewall is, is king is being threatened by. Ooh. Ooh, pink's getting eaten by this, though. No reaction either. Imperial Age, this is the imp TC. Oh, God. Garrison, your town center. Yeah, one's filled. Garrison, this town center. Pink's gonna lose a lot of villagers. Not gonna get to Grace King. We need uh Petards. Get yeah, Petards Garrison. You Garrison Petards, guys. This side do not know. Ask Emma. Bruh. I don't know what that means. 
It was fun while it lasted. GG, Pride Gaming. Ooh, the halbs came out, and the halbs ate all of the steps. <sighs> oh no, I might bail on the 2v2v2 with her, but... Oh, this is pretty sick, though. I like this format for team games. Because the kings are stuck. <laughs> I'm in danger. Gray king. Yeah, gray king's chilling. Gray king's chilling, dog. I'd be more worried about red getting eaten by green. Yeah, he made a bunch of halves. Gray is pretty dead, though. These guys are still going. This guy might be uh, a factor at some point. A big old demo. Does Chippity Chopsticks have any bills left? 15 there. 25 there. 13 there. Uh, it's like 53. 63. Yeah, I'm tired. Oof. I'm not going to make it too long, Stiglitz. I'm done after this game, guys. Monday. Monday. My goo factor has reached full proportion. It's approaching one. I'm not failing on 2042, damn it. What about Dave? Is Dave going to be there for George? Texted him. That's no. George still in Mexico. Yo, f George in his stupid Mexico. He was posted this thing where he said he was eating tacos. What a stupid piece of shit. Eating tacos. What kind of idiot eats tacos. Tacos are known for a fact. To give you bowel cancer. Do we have the wonder victory? Is that what the relic victory? Is that what's happening? I'm, just, I'm sorry, George. I'm just joking. That's a lot of missionaries, and they are currently in position. a classic run your mil your missionaries into your opponent's military strategy um it was invented back in the 1950s before people had any idea what military strategy was unfortunately it doesn't work at all it's a horrible throw I think Air 12 cares about his missionaries. Where is the wonder? I was promised wonder. Chopstick says f I have to agree. Wait, who paid what to Johnny the monkey? I oh, said food to Johnny the monkey. That's hilarious. Got our uh, supremacy Spanish builders pounding the castle down. The chakrams firing their deadly disc golf discs into the villagers. They tank quite a number of those. Look at that. 
That's kind of crazy. That castle will go, will go up. Na 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 supremacy vills. And down goes the castle. Emma Stonewalls becomes one with the potato and loses the castle. Boom, Procaster. I caught the, the castle dying moment. Where's my props for that? Also, I noticed the cavalry archers right away. Where's my props for being a good caster, chat? What is this? That's fucking nothing. Attack. 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 <laughs> You're chasing most <mouse>, yet. <laughs> Okay, okay. Heard Barry's a procaster. And here come the chakra warriors firing their delicious discs all over the place. There's nine million fucking monasteries that are in the way though. And even though we got all these fucking monasteries in the way, Johnny the monkey has got the hushar. And the hushar moving in, isn't that right, Jeff? Yes, that's right, Jeff. And if we look uh oh wait, mine Jeff. I just called just called you, Jeff. Right, whatever. And, and over here we got we got we got look the green. Green has actually kind of had their push stopped. And with the siege elephants coming out, that's going to complicate things, Barry. It's going to complicate things for sure. Yeah, that's right. Uh, over here, we got a, a king that's relatively undefended. You know, if one of the other teams is able to get some sort of knockdown, they can get a sneak across and maybe take that king out. Let's check that uh, or the, the line of sight. You know, my line of sight isn't too good these days. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're a good one, Jeff. So why wasn't I invited to cook it? You're just gonna go on about your fucking baseball bat. Fair enough. Anyways, uh, if we look back down here in the south, we can see that uh, Red is doing some Emma Stonewall is just king is threatened. Holy shit! We've got some elite cannon galleons moving in. Elite cannon galleons have more than enough range to hit that king. It's dodging back and forth, Mary. There it goes. And it's only at 23 HP, and there's cannons being fired on either side of it. And I don't know if Emma Stonewalls can dodge all these cannonballs. The last time I saw a king dodge this many balls, I got arrested for the footage. <laughs> That's hilarious, Jeff. And the king... I don't know if Emma Stonewalls is just taunting AR-12, but AR-12 can't seem to land a shot on the king here. Yeah, the last time I saw a king dodge this many balls, I was in a nightclub. <laughs> so you keep him coming, Jeff. You keep him coming. That king just about got annihilated there. Keeping it moving. <laughs> just like your knees on a Saturday night, am I right? Don't comment about my knees. You know I have spider legs. Why, why are you making fun of my spider legs, you son of a bitch? I was, I'm sorry. I was, I was, I forgot. I forgot about the spider legs. King is dodging all of the, the bombard shots. It's only got eight HP left, and any one of these shots can do it. 
We got angled shots from every side. We have full circle dodging from Emma Stonewall here. <laughs> Last time I saw Kit. Okay, he's dead. GG, well played. And AR 12 and chopsticks completely murder their opponents. That's one way of putting it. Thanks for the co cash, Jeff. Uh, you know, it's always a pleasure when I get to uh, just sit down with a 600 year old being and, uh, and cast a game of Age of Empires 2. <laughs> it's always nice when I get to sit next to a stinky river rat for 40 fucking minutes. And talk about a game I couldn't give less of a shit about. You goddamn idiots. I am going home to my wizard cabin to first fucking put oil on my stupid spider legs. Boy. Kind of upset at the end there. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the, the help, Barry. I don't mention it, Grat Man. You know, sometimes I have rough days. You know what I do? It is, uh, I, I don't remember. I'm a stupid beaver. I'm going back to my uh, my river now. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Thanks, Barry. Okay, I'm I'm done. I can't I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Dad, who wants me to just cast an entire day as Barry and Lubov and Jeff? I did it once before, and people hated it. I think maybe people might be more receptive to it now. Me. What was the APM? We'll go back to when everybody was playing. There you go. AR-12 had uh, Blue Stars plus Chopsticks APM. Uh, also, also, Pride plus Blue Star uh, does not equal AR-12. Um, and also, Chopsticks plus Pride does not equal AR-12. So, that's... You guys tried your best, though. It was great. The GG well played by all. That's some fun with the uh, the viewer show matches, of course. All right, let's look at the the highlight reel one last time, and then I'm gonna go. This is what blue can see. <laughs> when did Gray send a vill over there and build that? This is fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding for me. That's okay. Things are gonna be okay. Wonder dies. The Trebs get a bonus on the Wonder. We're gonna try and repair it. We're at 35 years! My goodness, this was close Holy for Laurie. That wonder should go. Is he going to hold? Only three of the Trebs are firing. 30 years left. No, nah, it's not enough. He trebuchet sniped it. What? From downtown. <laughs> oh, the bill. The Vill is gonna kill the king. She's got supremacy. The Vills are gonna kill the king if we're not careful. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The Vills get the king! Supremacy Vills. That's hilarious, Jeff. And the king. I don't know if Emma Stonewall is just taunting AR-12, but AR-12 can't seem to land a shot on the king here. Yeah, last time I saw a king dodge this many balls, I was in a nightclub. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. 
Jeff cracks me up whenever I, because Jeff is the hardest for me to improvise as for some reason. Pay out your channel points. They are, there's nobody won, bet anything on the other teams. But enjoy, Stiglitz. Um, tomorrow is Tuesday. There are one, two, three games happening tomorrow. I can see. One, two, three, four games happening tomorrow. Five games. Wait, let me work my way down. One. Wait, wait, wait. What's the earliest one? We've got a 16, a 17, two 17s, a 22, and a 21. 16, 17, 20, 2, 16, 17, 17, 21, 22. Five games tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday, we have one, two games. And then there's two unscheduled sets. Give me time estimate, less than half an hour. We'll say like we'll say seven o'clock. Like what's quarterfinals are gonna be banging. I agree. And then the all the all the quarterfinals will be set. And then it's just twenty seven players. That is a, a pretty serious lineup even for that. I really hope Hera I I gotta say, I really hope Hera gets through. I'm worried about Hera. And I also really hope Tato gets through. Those are the two big ones. Um, if you look at the way the brackets are structured, uh, depending on how things go, uh, we could have a Hera, Tato, Kapoch final, I believe. Era Tato Kapoch. Oh, Survivalist is here. No, I'm just I'm just finishing Survivalist. I'm just looking at what the schedule is. I don't know if you saw it, Survivalist. I'm gonna do a 2v2v2 tournament on Sunday. I'm sure you're not very interested in that. I thought I'd throw that out there. Yeah, I'm done for today. I'm tired. And I'm just looking at the schedule we got. I wish you'd won survivalist. I'm going to I'm going to schedule some some show matches, some some like all-star show matches like I did uh, if you remember I think it was 2 years ago. I think I remember if I did it last year or not. But I remember those all-star show matches. I'm, I think I'm going to set some of those up cuz we have like like Sito got eliminated and I want to have him and King Marv and you and if there's someone else Matsi. <laughs> like if I, I want some of these people to get another crack at the tournament, so Kongen Maybe I'll do like a mini high elo tournament with like nine of you. The first nine high elos that get knocked out. Meatballs is, yeah, Meatballs is rough, man. It is a rough. Did you see this 2v2 game that happened? There's like these connecting sh sh miggles, rigor, little rivers. All right. I am going to go, though. Are you streaming, Survivalist? <clears throat> you just finished? That's unfortunate. Figure out if I should raid. Ah, okay. No. Nope, I'm done. I'm done, though. I got to send people off to, let's see, Ricola has 48 people, Otter has 20 people, and is doing community games. There you go. I'm going to send you guys off to the Otter AOE. Plus, Otter AOE, guys, he covers a lot of the games before I do. So if you're more interested in the players, particularly, that are playing, and you can catch, like, some game, you'll watch, like, most of the games that I cast, or you don't mind watching a game get casted twice by two different people, Otter AOE casts a lot of the Rang of Fire games. And he's a solid caster. He's also covering uh, Chaos Cup. Which is like a DM tournament that's happening. We're going to raid Otter. I like supporting the smaller streamers. Freaking Andy is live. 
I think I rated him the other day. We're going to rate Otter. Uh, I'm out of here. Goodbye, guys. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you. I'll let you know in Discord if I'm going to be here uh, tomorrow at all. There's so many games playing. I kind of want to go live right now. But I'll definitely be on If we only have the two live games on Wednesday, if I do end up going live tomorrow, if we have two live games on Wednesday, I'll do more viewers. Don't forget to sign up for the 2v2v2 tournament happening on Sunday. See Chopsticks, Mega Monkey, Long Name, Cheer Survivalist, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Hi, my name is Carla Shaw. You can stop at five or six stores or just one. I don't need friends. They disappoint.